Hey, what's up everyone? Evera94 back again with another action figure review. And today we are looking at the Mezco Toys 112 Collective Pink Skulls Chaos Club. Before I get started, I just gotta give a big thank you to Mezco Toys for letting me check this out and allowing me to review this. I'm excited and honored to do them both. So I want to officially introduce everyone to the Rumble Society. Hopefully you guys caught some of the teasers on my Instagram if you haven't followed me there already. Now what is Rumble Society you may ask? What is this you speak of? It's part of the ever expanding world of Gomez. How many Gomez's have we gotten? Mexico introduced us to Agent Gomez at first then we got Street Gomez. We have Stealth Gomez now. We have some Shadow Gomez over in China. Uh, so we have plenty of Gomez. So what about villains of Gomez or enemies of Gomez? Well here we go. So as you guys can see already we have a tin can packaging. I always show the packagings in my videos so here is no different but this is beautiful. I love it when Mezco does this. Uh, collectors are just a big fan of this. Uh, they've done it before. They just recently did it with Stealth Ops Gomez and that lunchbox tin can that they did. Here we have a cylinder can with uh, almost like a caution tape wrapped around it and it's sitting there with the Mezco exclusive seal right there um, and then we have the PSCC for the Pink Skulls Chaos Club and just to get a little rotated view of the packaging there you go uh, so the main attraction is up here so I'm gonna I guess show you guys how it looks on the inside um, since it does pique my interest and curiosity here so this is a three pack indeed so they managed to pack three figures inside with a ton of accessories so those of you that were interested in seeing what that looks like inside there you go we have a centerpiece here with a bunch of accessories which we'll take a look at and then we have the three figures just circling uh, around the wall of the can the base is down there so let's take them out and check out the figures so once you take all the contents out of the tin can packaging you just got to cut through some tape here and then you see the three figures along with some accessories on the right side and then the middle piece that you guys saw just comes apart in layers or clamshell layers here where we get all the hands and then some more uh, accessories here so let's take a look at everything check them out this is how they come out of the package just like this as you see they all have the pink skulls we have the striped shirts and uh, the same pants and shoes the same uh, pair of fists on each figure so they all compact in the same they are exactly the same figure but they come with so much accessories that you can mix and match and change each one you know personalize each uh, character or each figure the way you want or have them all look the same if that's what you want but I'm super excited to see this happening because that what Mezco is doing is expanding on the Gomez universe. They're actually making a Gomez like world or universe where he has enemies and villains and and people that he will fight. And it's not just gonna be a bunch of different Gomez's. It's, it's gonna be, you know, he's gonna have arch enemies and rivals and and whatnot. At least that's what I am foreseeing here because what I first thought was just gonna be. Uh, a figure of the mascot of Mezco to be with our other Mezco figures. It's, it's not. They're really putting a story behind uh, these characters and I like that a lot. Now the first thing you're going to notice is how these three figures look just like Gomez. The same shirt, the same pants and all. Why do they look so similar? Now I can tell you it's not just because Mezco decided to just to uh, reuse parts and, and make it easier for them to release uh, three other figures. They actually did this intentionally. So what if I told you that these three are actually Gomez? All right, give me a second. In fact, these are skull-headed versions of Gomez. Well, not really, but in a way. Gomez does travel to different dimensions, and in each dimension that he travels to, he doesn't know it, but he's leaving behind these skull-headed versions of himself, and these three are mutated, and they're on their own mission, and they're definitely creating a big problem for Gomez. So we'll start things off with the accessories, and one thing that Mezco has been doing amazing with all of their Gomez releases is including a lot of accessories, and it's no different here. You guys just seen uh, all the pink skulls on their heads. They do come with an alternate head, and it is an alternate pink skull head, which I really do like a lot. And you get a set of three, of course, one for each figure. And there's a closer look at that so you can get a good look at the detail and the paint job and sculpt on the skull. And just so I can get 
a comparison going here with the other skull. There you go. It's very different. This one looks a little bit more animated, more cartoony-ish, if that makes sense. But I do like how the teeth are painted there. If I had to choose one, I think I'd go with this one right here. We also do get a set of hats here, and each hat fits perfectly on each head. Whether it's this skull head or if it's this skull head, they fit just fine. A set of swords with sheaths, so the sheath is black with pink rope, and then the blade itself on the swords are pink. And the handle is gray there, nicely painted. I do like that. We got three baseball bats, skull crusher written on the barrel. And then it's just black. It's like a transparent, translucent plastic. So that's very unique. And we also do get three switch blades here. And this is very nice. It's so small and skinny, but they still manage to get some detail in there. You can see the button painted there where you would press to get, you know, the switch blade open. It's silver and it's just a little bit of sculpt details are all included there. So we do get a pair of handcuffs and these two are the same. We get a little bit of a gap there between the actual, you know, cuff and I guess where you would lock it and you can put someone in cuffs. So that's cool. And then we do get a pair of Molotov cocktails and I haven't seen these before so these are cool. We get one that is not ignited and one that is. So you see the flame effect there. It's on fire and then we have a transparent bottle. Then we get two yellow wrenches that have some nice detail as well. Different colors, silver with some wash on there and the, uh, the yellow actually has some silver wash on there too as well. So I like the detail so far on all these accessories. All right, these things are very small, so very hard to get the focus on this one, but it's a watch and it says one o'clock. Normally all the watches have been saying 112 on it for the 112 line for Mezco at least. But for these guys, it seems like they have different times. The blue one has the uh, 1 p.m. or 1 a.m. on there. And then the other watches, we have green and yellow. Green has two o'clock and then three has three o'clock. Each one has a different time. We also do get three bags or satchels right here and these are cool as always Mesco does a great job with the straps and the buckles uh, here is no different so the buckle is actually a working buckle that you have to actually press as if it was real um, both here and that will latch that up we have a nice little foam piece to keep that from going uh, going flat and there you go so we got a nice little bag there for each figure each character will come with a bandana as well. Same pattern and color, so they're nicely done. And just think about what you can do with these right here. This is the first one that came to mind right here. Putting it around his face. And boom, that looks fantastic. I like that. And each figure has the option of putting on a bomber jacket. And here we have a working zipper, just like we've seen before with Mezco jackets. Works just fine. On the inside we get orange. And then on the side... Little skeleton hand giving you the finger. On the back we get PSCC for the Pink Skulls Chaos Club. We got the skull right there. And in Chinese we have Die Free. And just a quick sneak peek of just how crazy awesome this thing looks on the figure. Here's the jacket attached with the bandana around the face. Um, it looks good man. And last but not least for the weapons and clothing accessories we have these chains actual metal chains this looks great i love that they actually made it metal actual looking realistic looking chains here and each figure will receive their own now i did say that's it for the accessories in terms of weapons and uh, clothing pieces but we do have the hands so i figure it is a little easier to show this off while it's still on the clamshell uh, as you see each figure gets the same pair of hands so we get three of each hand here uh, the bottom hand has a trigger finger. We get the index finger and the middle finger joined together on this hand, so it's almost like it's pointing like this. Then we get a hand that has, uh, you know, kind of a gripping hand, almost like another trigger finger hand here. Uh, and then we have the grabbing hand for the left hand. So that was the right hand, that was the left hand. Uh, then we have a left hand open. This is good for uh, holding any item or items then we have on the very top we get a left hand with a bigger grip here so these do look familiar because Gomez did come with these hands too next clamshell we have uh, open hand on the bottom 
here so this is the right hand open and then the left hand open is on the very top right here so we get the left and the right same pose then we get a pointing finger for the right hands only and that's the index finger because on the left hand we get the middle finger here so just like Gomez we get those on the pink skulls chaos club and then on the right hand we get a grabbing hand perfect for that sword and then it looks like we have a left hand that is grabbing as well in case you want him holding it in the left hand there so again lots of hands because again it is three figures um, and they all do get the same all right so before we get into the articulation of the figures i just want to show just a up close shot of of the figures just so you guys get a detailed look at them before we get into into everything else in the video so with this head i try to put them all with a different head or accessory on right now so this one does have the jacket and you just take a closer look. Actually, one thing I kind of missed, or I actually did miss, are the uh, sticker patches here. That decorate your jacket, customize it, or personalize it as you wish for each member. Have it looking a little differently, so it's not all exactly the same. So that's cool right there. All right, back to business here. So we have our uh, nice tailoring done. Once again, they did a great job. The stitching and everything came out good. Everything bends nicely too. We'll see that in the articulation part. We have the feet and in case you're curious to see if they're magnetized. Yes, they are magnetized. So if you do have a Gomez skateboard or hoverboard lying around, you want to give them one, then why not? But they do not come with one in case you guys get confused. Don't get confused just because I just showed it. Um, this is from Gomez. If you look at the neck, it's actually the Gomez neck, but it's black and we get pink uh, neck, <laughs> like a skeletal neck on the back of the neck. So that looks cool. But again, these are kind of like evil spawns of Gomez. So they're meant to look like Gomez on purpose. And then here's one more look at this one right here with the alternate head. And now let's get into the articulation. So they all do have the same body, of course. So we're just gonna take a look at the articulation of one of the figures instead of all three, because that would make no sense. So we have the head that swivels left and right, and it is the separate neck and head combo. So it's the ball joints uh, with Mezco. Sometimes they do have the neck and head uh, as one piece and I'm actually a fan of this one the, the separate piece and I think a lot of people can agree with that because you can get a lot more range and motion you can get the head tilt there uh, you can play around with it a lot more so he looks up about that high looks down uh, left and right just fine I mean look at the range there very nice and that goes for the other head too take the hat off there you can look up and down just fine so the uh, arms and this is a, again the Gomez body so just what you would expect out of Gomez you can expect here so it goes up and down the shirt does not really hinder it at all so that's great you can get the, mo the, the movement that you want the poses that you want so the arm goes all the way up we get that bicep swivel in there if you roll the sleeve up it's black underneath we have double jointed elbows put that back down and then did I miss anything here no so we got that that hinge on the shoulder we have the wrist that swivels left and right we have um, the hinge that'll make it bend forward and back the shirt is not attached to the pants so you can see there is a belt there it's got a diaphragm joint on the torso that you can swivel very nicely left and right all the way so you can twist it and you can bend him back and forward and you can kind of tilt him as well so lots of range there for the torso we also do get a waist swivel down at the course of the waist and the legs are going to kick forward about this far and they go back down we get the legs almost doing a split there the thigh will swivel we have double jointed knees very very flexible for sure and then we have the ankles going forward and back they do have a little rocker there's a swivel and that's it so for our size comparisons we're of course going to get them compared next to the street gomez which is the most similar gomez to these guys because once you take that jacket off you see he's got the same shirt underneath he's got the pants and the shoes and everything so obviously if you count his antennas he's taller but they seem to be around the same height when it comes to the head to head height wise and here we have next to the stealth ops gomez which is around the same height as the street Gomez too. And then we have our very first Gomez that released, which is the Agent Gomez. So again, same height, but just to get him compared and seeing how he looks next to all the different types of Gomez's, 
uh, there you go with the uh, with the agents fully with the trench coat and everything and I did like the agent Gomez so much that I did get a second one just to display him without the trench coat and all because to me it looks different completely he doesn't even look like an agent here this looks like office Gomez or something like he's working in an office but I got him with the boom box and without the jacket so he's just the uh, short sleeve Gomez here so for the final Gomez comparison uh, with with this one here I do not have the China releases so I cannot compare next to those unfortunately and before I head out each figure does come with a base and stand the standard base and stand that each Mezco figure comes with and a plastic baggie and that concludes my review of this crew of skulls called the pink skulls chaos club Mezco Toys 112 Collective exclusive three pack hope you guys enjoyed this review just as much as I enjoyed making it for you guys I encourage everybody to check out the link down below in the description, click on it so you can go ahead and pre-order this set when it goes live. Also stay tuned till the very end of the video where I have a set of pictures, a little montage of pictures that I shot of the figures, which I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to leave a like, a comment, let me know your thoughts on this. Are you guys excited as I am? Subscribe if you haven't done so already and as always, have a great day. Bye.